Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in the Central OH. <laughs> and we are going to talk about um, a bourbon. Now I'm featuring this from my third leg of my recent cross-country road trip I did with my wife. Um, this is from the California leg, and I will link at the end of this video to the unboxing from that leg of the trip. <clears throat> so um, you can watch it if you want. I, If you're like me, I don't blame you if you don't watch the unboxing because then I just don't like seeing what other people are getting and bragging about. <laughs> but anyway, um, but you might, I don't know, sometimes I like to watch as well. But then I start coveting and that's not good. <laughs> but um, now that I've got more bourbon than, than I know what to do with, uh, we're going to feature this one. Rick House by Gold Bar Distillery. Um, I've got the Gold Bar here somewhere. Oh, I put it up over there. You can't see it. Um, this is out of San Francisco. And they talk about, okay, so this is straight bourbon whiskey, cask finished, with French oak staves made with Hetch Hetchy water. I'm like, what in the world is Hetch Hetchy? I used to live in Northern California, not in the Bay Area. And I'm like, what's this Hetch Hetchy Coochie Coochie water? But apparently, let me just toss this out. Apparently, it is the like reservoir in the Bay Area and it feeds from the Sierra Nevada mountain range and goes into this reservoir near Yosemite State Park. And there we have it. And, uh, you know, let's grab, yeah, let's grab a, a, one of the little, the little fellers today. Nah, I'm going to grab one of the big fellers today and um, give a little pour. There is no age statement on this bourbon. However, I don't think I mentioned this. It is 80% corn, 20% rye, three times copper pot distilled, 103 proof. And uh, it says collection is 01 slash 08. So I don't know if that was the barrel date um, or maybe that's just where the Rick House is. Um... This is cast, blended, and bottled by the Gold Bar Bottle Company, San Francisco, San Francisco, um, California. From what I have read, <clears throat> that this is um, sourced Texas corn, Oklahoma rye, distilled in Texas, and then um, shipped... I think they might barrel it in Texas as well and then ship it on over to San Francisco. Yes. <laughs> uh, every time I say that, I want I think of Sulu in Star Trek for the voyage home. But, um, you know, there's no age statement, but man, that is a nice dark bourbon. Um, bourbon needs to be aged at least two years to be called bourbon. This looks like it could be aged longer. Um... I don't know. And I picked this up in Chico, California. <clears throat> uh, at a, they have a chain out there called Bevmo. B-E-V-M-O. And uh, they were running a sale the, for the time I was there. You buy one, not just the Rick House, but you buy... Buy one, and they had different selections, not just bourbon, but, you know, different spirits and wines. Buy one, get one for a nickel. And so I bought bought this and bought, I think, Puncher's Chance, something else for the nickel, or vice versa. And I'm like, you know, I really, this bottle intrigues me. I think I'm going to like what's in here. So, um... Went back, <clears throat> bought a second bottle of this, and got another bottle of something else for five cents. You can't beat that. And I want to thank Lisa over at the BevMo in Chico for being so dang courteous and helping a feller out, getting me set up, even though I live here in Ohio. 
set, get me set up with a BevMo loyalty card so I could take advantage of that promotion. So um, here we go. <sighs> smells really nice. Um, it smells sweeter than I thought it would be, but that could be because it's 80% corn. Corn is sweet. I kind of like the fact there's no malted barley in here. <sighs> smells really good. Um, hmm. It's nice and mellow. That's a nice sipper, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah, sweet. Corn sweet with a hit of spice. But it, it's, but it doesn't, because it's finished off, they say it's raked. <laughs> How do you rake bourbon over oak staves? Uh, <laughs> um, but that is nice. I'm glad I got picked up a second bottle of that. Um, it's really mellow. It's very drinkable. Um, kind of has, I don't want to say a plasticky uh, taste to it. Um, I think once I get past this neck pour, it'll really mellow out, but no, it's not plasticky. It's um, kind of like wine barrel-ish is the best way I can describe it. <clears throat> so they might actually use staves from wine barrels, seeing it's from the Bay Area. Um, but that is real. I mean, that's a delightful bourbon. Uh, it's different in a very good way. And I do kind of get, I have this pet peeve thing going on where it's like, you know, <laughs> I like something that tastes like bourbon, but I don't want something that tastes like bourbon, like run-of-the-mill bourbon. $35 or so is between 35 and 40 bucks for the bottle. Um, it is something I did not see in my travels outside of California, so Gold Bar might actually just cater to California. Actually, I did see it in Nevada, in Vegas. Um, so if you do, by chance, if you are on a road trip <clears throat> or, you know, you can pack something in your check-in luggage and you're in California and you're a bourbon enthusiast, I would get that. This would be the perfect thing to have, I would say, with like a pasta or Italian dinner is probably... You know, or of course your classic steak dinner or prime rib. It's elegant. It's really nice. Um, and I, you know, let me just see if I can analyze it. Because you know me, I don't analyze all that stuff. Yeah. It's corn sweet. Got that good rye spice to it, but then... Man, there's like a sweetness right at the finish on that last gulp of it. Um, little caramelly, little bit of like a red wine, like a Cabernet Sauvignon, um, which is really not, I like that. Um, again, not your run-of-the-mill bourbon. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of like Angel's Envy, but it's not. Um, this is a bit beefier and meatier, but still elegant. Um, the thing I don't like, I do like Angel's Envy. It's grown on me, but it's a very light bourbon. This is a bit heavier, bit meatier, um, and elegant and elevated. So it's, uh, and even though it doesn't have any malted barley in it, I'm still getting a little hit of a malt in there. So they may have malted some of that rye or corn before they, uh, distilled it. So there you go. Um, my thoughts on Rick House by Gold Bar Bottle Bourbon Bourbon, Bourbon Bottle Company. Um, it's cask strength and that 103 proof really hits you where it counts. <laughs> and it's a really nice bourbon. So uh, 
like I said, if you do see it, especially at the price point, pick it up. Um, and if you live outside of the California, Nevada area, um, and you do see it, it's something, you know, share, get it, bring it home, share it with your friends. And I'm sure a splendid time will be had for all. So until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Hope your next pour is your best pour. Again, if you see Rick House by Gold Bar, grab it. It's a no-brainer in my opinion. So um, I'll catch you soon. Thanks again for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.